tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. All about nutrition from your favorite dietitian. Everything you need to digest in your mind. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Making you healthier one bite at a time. With Tony. With Tony. With Tony. Welcome to the Tips with Tony podcast. I'm Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Today we are talking about what it takes to be fit. I recently posted about how I am recommitting to my fitness regimen um, after about a year, almost two years of me really not putting in consistent effort. Although I've been working out, I haven't really, it hasn't been my main focus. My main focus has been getting this business up and off the ground, healing, because I did have mono last year or the year before with the year before I can't keep track at this point. I think it was the year before. It was the year before and then COVID happened. So <laughs> it took me about a year to recover and then we had a global pandemic. Um, so it was building my business now to the point where I'm so grateful that I have registered dietitians, uh, both Casey and Mary Rose, who are taking on clients because I was getting so busy, so overwhelmed, so on the verge of burnout. I really didn't have much time or energy for anything else. And I noticed that I was not prioritizing my health and my self-care. And I was taking care of myself. It just wasn't in the way that I know that I can. And when I tell you that it served me as a purpose then, that was great. But now I'm in a new stage of my life. And I think it's important for us to recognize that there are seasons. And I definitely have talked about this on a previous episode before uh, a more recent episode. Um, And sometimes it's time to kick it up a notch in certain areas and other times it's time to like let go and and all that. So I don't want you to think that over the past two years I neglected my health and self-care because I definitely didn't. It just shifted a bit. And now because I have the time and energy to focus on my fitness, it um, is the, it's how I want to spend my time. I genuinely love exercise and I love feeling fit. I love feeling strong. I love lifting things. I love seeing my body and my mind progress. And it's just such an incredible thing. So we're talking about what it takes to be fit. And I think the first thing we need to address is that you don't need to look fit to be fit. So this is not about how to get six pack abs and get a tone body and all that stuff. Although that might happen as a result to you taking care of um, your body in a more physical way and, and, and challenging it. But being fit is just being able to lift things, being able to walk or run without ha- needing to like catch your breath. And then also an improved fitness level is really not having to, like if you think about when you, like you, you're always going to run out of breath, right? If you run, whether you're in tip top shape or not, you're still going to run out of breath when you run. But someone who's fit, they can kind of get right back to it faster, right? So that's an, an, uh, a way to know if your fitness is improving, right? If you can uh, lift more weight than you started, if you can run longer without needing a break, if you can um, really just go about your day and your with your daily task and have more energy, that's all good signs to know that your progress is, you are making progress, right? Um, so now what it takes to be fit. So you obviously have to work out and exercise <laughs> in order to be more fit, right? Now your nutrition technically doesn't have to change, although it properly fueling pre and post workout, um, getting adequate recovery, that is totally going to help you to be able to work out faster, work out harder, work out stronger. Um, you're not going to lose your, you know, be, um, you know, um, lose your energy. You're not going to like, you're going to have more energy, uh, throughout the whole experience. Um, hydrating properly is going to help you to be able to kind of keep at it. You know, not feeling tired is all going to be part of your nutrition regimen is going to help you to do that. Now, I think the most important thing is that if you're striving to be fit, it really comes down to making a commitment, um, and just making a decision, right? If you're kind of like, ah, eh, it's okay if I work out today or it's not okay, you know, that's okay. at, at certain points, but if you're really trying to be the fittest that you've ever want to be, or you're trying to really start a new habit, maybe the exercise is new for you, then it's all about committing to the plan, but being flexible in the approach, being super, super consistent with your plan and regimen. Now, what that means is you don't have to have 
a specific plan. Um, you don't have to follow technically like a workout plan, although if you wanted to and that helps you, that's fine. But you also have to know that if you don't do your workout that day, that that's okay. You can take, you can make up for it the next day. So I know it kind of sounds like counterproductive to what I was just sharing, but really it comes down to that consistency, those small changes that will build over time. So you have to have some sort of plan. I think it's super helpful to know that, you know, you're going to do, you know, what you're going to run on Tuesday, you're going to lift weights on Wednesday, you're going to do yoga on Thursday, you know, you're going to lift more weights on Friday, you're going to have a rest day on Saturday, whatever it is. I think it's helpful if you look at your calendar and you schedule it and you kind of go for it. But at the same time, you can wake up that day and maybe you have the energy to to run and lift weights. And so now maybe the next day you make sure you take a recovery day. And so the, the thing that I think people miss out on the most is that the fitter you want to be, the more time and energy you will need to spend in working out but it will only work if you also, you equally, the more you train, the more you need to also recover and rest. So a lot of people work harder instead of working smarter. So you actually, believe it or not, don't have to spend hours in the gym to be fit. Honestly, depending on the type of workout, it could be anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes a day, right? Or it could be 30 minutes, four times a week, whatever it is. But all you need to do for focus on is how can I be more consistent you know, every single day or every single week and make sure that you are recovering just as hard as you're training. So as the intensity of your workouts increase, you want to make sure that your recovery time is also increasing as well, right? Because otherwise you're going to burn out or you're going to get an injury and it's going to be really hard to continue. So make sure that you're focused more on those small changes, right? When you feel like you're, you can't do one more rep, just push that one more rep. That's it. Not 10 more, but if you're feeling exhausted, do one more or one more minute or one more second, even in a plain cold, something like certain things, like just when you don't think you can do more, just do a little bit more, right? So it's all about pushing yourself, but not pushing yourself so hard that now you're beat up and you can't work out for the next 10 days or you're so sore. You can't go up and down the stairs or whatever it is, right? So soreness just show, share, shows that you haven't recovered enough or that your body hasn't adjusted enough. So if you start to work out new movements, soreness is normal, but to reduce that soreness, make sure you're recovering, um, fueling properly, getting adequate sleep. Sleep is so, so important. Um, that's really going to help. And then obviously the last thing that you need to be fit is a clear why as a clear why so you can stay focused so those days where you're like eh, I don't feel like working out you know one day of that is okay but if it's now two days and three days and you notice yourself you're starting to slip before you go so off that it almost feels like you quote unquote have to start over slow down slow down but never quit right? Go back to your why. Why is this important to you? I shared about this on my Instagram. For me, the why is I, um, I love, I actually do love the way that I feel. Um, I am doing it more for my mental health, for my focus, um, just to feel stronger. I just want to feel stronger. It's not about changing the way that my body looks. Although if that's your goal, that's totally okay. Um, but it does have to go deeper than aesthetics. I do believe that. Otherwise, it's pretty fleeting, right? So for me, it's more. It's a matter of I finally have the time again. I love the way that it feels. It's just a great way to start my day. It's a great feeling. I love, I, you never really regret a workout, right? Unless you're at that point of burnout and exhaustion. For the most part, you always feel good about it. And I think it's just going to translate into how I show up in other areas in my life. And that's why I'm choosing to do it. And this is my stage in my journey and my season. I've had seasons and and stages in other stages of my life where fitness wasn't on the top of my priority list. Movement is always part of my, my priority list, right? So movement and wellness is so, so important. Um, but this season for me, I'm shifting into making fitness at the top of my priority and more so than just moving my body. Neither one is good or bad. Okay. They're all just different focuses based off the different seasons that you're in. Okay. So I want to make that clear. All right. So the last thing that I didn't mention is make sure that you are part of a support group. Make sure that the people that you talk to understand you, get you, motivate you, don't shame you or judge you, but just understand, listen, and maybe they work out with you. Don't depend on others though. I think it's good to have an accountability buddy with workouts, um, but sometimes it can really get you stuck. So at the end of the day, you can use that as support and guidance, but make sure that you yourself are holding yourself accountable. 
make sure you're holding yourself responsible. Okay, I think that's super, super important. If you're not part of the Healthy Lifestyle Support Group on Facebook, definitely join us. It's a free support group where they have actually the pleasure of you can listen to podcasts before they even get released. So that's a really cool thing there. And if you are one, you know, you're looking to get some accountability and support with your fitness, um, I think working with a trainer is always helpful. Joining um, a, a group fitness class that maybe they, you know, have a really great community making friends, you know, like I said, that's always going to be helpful. So make sure you're surrounded by people that understand you, that get you, that motivate you, um, but don't shame you. Right. That's really, really important. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So what it takes to be fit, um, consistency, commitment, a clear focus, no, a clear why, uh, small changes over time. And yes, your nutrition, your recovery, being part of a support system, it's going to help with those PRs. It's going to help you complete those daily tasks faster and more, th- with more, and more energy. Um, it's going to help you be able to uh, recover and bounce back faster. So that is it for me today. Thank you so much for listening. As always, this is Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Tony, yeah, with Tony, yeah, with Tony. Yeah.